Hi, everyone. Thank you for viewing our video blog. I'm Jess Dillard Wright. I'm Brandon Brown. I'm Jane Hopkins Walsh. And together we form the Compost Collaborative. We are a group of nurse scholar activists who are committed to a more just and equitable future for nursing and humanity. And everything else on the planet. <laughs> um, I am here, <laughs> we're here today to introduce our paper, We've Never Been Nurses, Nursing in the Anthropocene and Doing the Capitalocene. We recognize that our title might at first seem off-putting, uh, but we see critique as an act of love, and we would like to frame this as critique of the discipline rather than of individual nurses, uh, and simultaneously recognize that we see incredible emancipatory potential for nursing. Our paper was written well before COVID arrived as the crisis that it is, but the critiques we make in We Have Never Been Nurses are now more important than ever. Uh, but in thinking about the points that we make, um, we worried briefly that our paper, especially the title, would undermine the critical work nurses have been doing in the COVID scene. On further reflection, however, and accounting for our positionality as nurses ourselves, uh, we understand the issues we advance and never been nurses as more salient now than ever before. The pandemic has unveiled a dystopian present, one that existed long before COVID came into being, but one that's now intractable, undeniable, confrontational to everyone, and not just those uh, disproportionately impacted by inequities. So that gives rise to a dystopian present. So we talk in the paper about um, the Anthropocene, which is a, a term coined by geologists to describe our current era, an epoch in which humans have assumed primacy as a geological force of planetary change. And included within that are all the capitalist, colonial, racialized, gendered forces that have shaped our current crisis. Um, we're facing climate injustice, um, massive racial inequities, social injustices, and in un, uh, excavating the Anthropocene and the Capitalocene in this paper, we begin to um, look at excavating that past as a way forward. Um, we see nursing as a manifestation of the Anthropocene, and this can be seen in our, our theoretical foundations on hum where humanism is uh, central in many of the theories that frame our nursing knowledge. Um, those that have evolved from Western Eurocentric philosophies that center paternalism, white supremacy, ableism, heteronormativity, and the primacy of human over non-human. Capitalocene um, is another term that we talk about in this paper, highlighting capitalism and the neoliberal forces that move nursing away from the public good and public welfare um, and towards private for-profit systems. So the next concept that we, on, uh, on, we discuss in the paper is the, is the Thulacine. And this um, concept comes from the feminist scholar Donna Haraway. And the Thulacine is the present sort of epoch that we find ourselves in. It is the epoch that recognizes the multiple histories and the multiple origins of the past, including all the histories of the Anthropocene and the Capitalocene. The Cthulacine draws upon the Greek word thonios, meaning of, in, or under the earth and the seas. So the Thulacine pays homage to all the wayfarers who call this planet home. Wayfarers being both the living and the non-living, all entities, biotic and abiotic. And whether we like it or not, uh, that also includes the abiotic entity of COVID-19. You see, in the Thulacine, we are humus, not homo. We are in and of the particles of this earth, composting together. As, Har as Haraway says, we are mixing, churning, becoming entangled and blending together, becoming one with each other, composing and decomposing, living and dying together. We are co-creating meaning together with the living and non-living. We are also co-creating knowledge together in the Thulacine, and that means co-creating knowledge together with COVID-19. And it is from this location that we must speculate our way forward. We must recognize that in the Cthulhuacine, we are all at stake to each other. We recently read an article in the New York Times that talked about llamas and the potential that they hold for having the antibodies against COVID-19. 
and how taking those antibodies is what could potentially save us as nurses and save us as humans. And that is what the Cthulhu scene recognizes, that deep relationship in that stake that we have with each other, living and non-living. We are at stake with llamas. We are at stake with our histories. And that, as nurses, we must stay with this. We must stay with this trouble. And we must recognize this sort of co-creating of meaning as our obligate work. The Cthulhu scene is only an ongoing conversation. It's a way of speculating our shared vision for the future. And it's a way that we use to envision our full emancipatory potential. And with that, we'd like to thank you very much for viewing our blog. Um, we wish you all the very best. And um, we thank you so much for uh, reading our article and engaging with our work. And we consider it a, a dialogue um, and a discussion. So please, this is just a, a beginning of a, a very long conversation that we hope to continue. We welcome your, your input and feedback. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you.